welcome to Bearded Meeple. They say good things come in small packages, and today's game is certainly no exception. And while it could be considered a micro game, the theme they've chosen, of all the games out there, it's certainly not one that's tackled that often, but Inside the Box Board Games has hit the nail right on the head with this one. It plays 2 to 8 people in about 10 to 30 minutes, depending on your group. It's all about molecules and the bonds they form. It's molecular. Let's check it out. The game comes with molecule tiles, functional or recipe cards, and effect cards. The tiles will be placed face down or in a bag. Each player will randomly draw five and you'll get three recipe cards. There are three actions. Placing a tile playing a recipe card to fulfill the molecular chain and get points, or play an effect card and alter the game. The rules for tile placement are very straightforward. Each molecule has to connect through the correct number of bonds. So this carbon would not be allowed to be placed next to the oxygen as there's an extra bond. When you place a new tile, since they have to connect through bonds, you are not able to play a new tile edge to edge. And remember, when placing a tile, the bonds have to connect so a bond cannot go next to a blank edge. In the effect cards are four icons, Lab, Reagent, Instant, and Active. These cards add a push your luck element to the game. You blind draw them from the deck and they may vastly affect the outcome, some to help you others to hinder. So as the game progresses, people playing tiles, cards, or revealing an effect card, if you play a recipe card, you will gain the points for your initial compound. You will then look over the board for every additional compound that makes what you play, excluding your three initial molecules, you will gain an additional point. However, once you've played that card, you then put a handicap counter on the reference card, so any time someone else plays Ether and gains their points, they're also going to get a negative point as well. At the start of the game, you choose a set amount of points for victory conditions. The first person to reach that will win. And that, my friends, is Molecular. Now, I can't really speak to the quality of the components of the game, as this was a print-and-play version, but I will say, I did a pretty bang-up job. Now, as far as the game itself goes, I do love tile-based games, and I like the strategy in this one of how do I want to bond these molecules to, one, try to fulfill recipe cards, but also try to keep opponents at bay, and do you really want to mix it up and pull an effector card because they could really help you or potentially really hinder you. I like that there's options and strategy, but it can be quick, light, and fun. I really hope you get a chance to check it out. I'll talk to you again soon.